The opioid crisis is destroying lives across Middle Tennessee, but who's to blame? Right now, Tennessee district attorneys are waiting for rulings in three cases against pharmaceutical companies. The group's attorney says he's encouraged by a recent ruling in Oklahoma for Johnson & Johnson to pay $572 million for allegedly helping to fuel the opioid crisis. Attorney Gerard Stranch hopes this is the start of so-called corporate death penalties. The real hope is that, you know, as a result of this, maybe some of the defendants will look at it and decide they don't want to be completely bankrupted by this, uh, and they'll be willing to reach resolutions where we can start having money flowing into the communities to clean up this mess sooner rather than later. 19 counties are part of the three lawsuits against major opioid producers and distributors. All of the cases are awaiting trial right now.